When I went to the North American Championships in Alpena, Michigan, that was the first time to skate against American skaters. And the uh, that was a lovely trip of uh, four days and three nights on a Greyhound bus, constantly traveling, and the bus driver would let me off when they stopped, and then I'd run down the road, and he'd pick me up down the road <laughs> so I'd get some exercise. But the, the biggest, the biggest and best memory is probably when the 60 Olympics, um, when they announced that there was going to be an Olympics that would allow women to skate in, and to compete in. And so uh, I made the team, well, I won 12 national championships by that time. So going to Squaw Valley, California and uh, seeing now European skaters, that was uh, like the country cousin coming into the big <laughs> city for the first time. I was always very ill before a, a competition. In Squaw Valley at the Olympics, by the time I got on the starting line, you know, you had to warm up and you got on the starting mm -hmm. line, and I was having dry heaves. <laughs> it was just, and the, uh, the starters at Canada, finally, because I kept having to move back off the start. Canada, we'll go without you. Get on that starting lane or we'll go without you. So he stopped. I thought, okay, <laughs> where do we go? <laughs> But, you know, you kind of wonder, why did I keep doing this? Because I would get so sick. But I, I enjoyed the camaraderie of all of the uh, athletes I skated with, and uh, they became my family and friends that we became very close over the years. You can't trade that off for anything. Even with the, my basketball team, we still get together and uh, talk about old times, catch up on the new. Yeah, it's, it's a big big part of competing, whether it's in individual sports or team sports. It's the camaraderie and the friends you meet. It's it's been uh, it's been a wonderful it's been a wonderful ride. The awesome crowd at Churchill Square here in Edmonton was unbelievable. Everybody just cheering and yelling, and it was just the adrenaline. Just whoa! <laughs> I yeah. was, I just flew high all the way up to that cauldron <laughs> and. Uh, and then um, uh, I guess I, I didn't realize I was, but I was guessing jumping for joy sort of thing. That's yeah. what they captured on film. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know that that's what I was doing. But that was uh, the honor to begin with, to be chosen uh, to run that last leg and to light the cauldron was... Uh, uh, oh, well, I, I, I run out of words to express honor. But it was awesome, just mm -hmm. an awesome experience that all talk about uh, capping off your sporting career. If nothing else ever happens in my life, that was, uh, that was the pinnacle. Induction into the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame was uh, a very memorable time for me. Uh, I think it's to be recognized by, the, uh, by your provincial people and by peers who are on the selection committees and then just to be nominated to begin with. That was, uh, that was really very important to be recognized as uh, having that, being that quality of an athlete that I would be able to sit on that, <laughs> sit in the Hall of Fame along with all the other top athletes.